Hello everyone, welcome back to another day of the chess grind. It's been a while. It's kind of away from the house for a few days there, so I didn't really get a chance to play as much as I normally want to. I think I had to take about three or four days off, but that's no worries. Okie dokie. Looks like the opponent's playing the Italian. That's fine. Uh, I'll develop the knight. Basically just a mirror play so far. Nothing fancy going on. I'll castle as well. Um, okay. This is fine. Uh, I'd like to develop the light square bishop here, so I'll just push a pawn up. Mm -hmm. That just forces me to fall back to b6. Okay. I think at this point, I'd like to just get the queen on e8 so I can just trade off bishops here. I think that's the play. I could also make a little cubby for my dark square bishop. Yeah, I was slightly worried about one of these pieces getting attacked. Mm. I think the knight's going to have to fall back to d8. I'd like to keep the bishop defended here. So I think that's going to be the play. Um, this is also an idea. Keeps the knight closer to the center of the board. Uh, I don't really like throwing the knight all the way back, but I think in this scenario it's going to have to go flag guesser. What country is that? Turkmenistan. Vietnam. Slightly off. Okay. Um, I don't think he wants to attack here since my knight's defending so i'll try to kick his knight okay so i'm just gonna go on a limb and say that wasn't the move okay go ahead and develop my queen hmm. else oh no that's not free no reason not to take that um yeah that was just Kind of a weird play by the opponent, I'd say. A hmm. couple options here. We have a5 and d4. I'm leaning towards d4 so I can attack his rook. What's his play after here? Yeah, c5 and b6 are defended. Oh, almost misclicked. I think the last thing that I'd like to do is can't quite go there. Uh, I guess I could go there. I could try to go for a sneaky mate here, but I think I'm just going to play it safe and develop a piece. I am kind of blocking the queen in this way if I develop here. Maybe I just go d7 with the bishop. What else can I do here? The rook is hanging. The knight's hanging. Maybe I could just try to trade off the hanging knight here. Hmm. Maybe I just don't think about it too hard. I could also threaten g-file with my queen. Um... Yeah, the queen doesn't have too many safe spots to move here. Hmm. I would like to keep the B pawn defended too. Maybe I can just move it up. I think I'll go here. Um, I don't... Hmm. 
I guess I could have attacked his queen there. But it's so easy to trade that off. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like I can really go anywhere with my bishop here. Looks like it's trapped. I mean, no matter where it goes. I suppose I could take this pawn. Um, I kind of like c5 better, just so I can trade off. I'd rather just trade the piece. Or do I just take a pawn with me? Hmm. Hmm. Do I go here and then open up the A file? Hmm. Or do I take this pawn? I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know what to do in these types of situations. That just seems like a total loss. This seems okay. It opens up the file. This seems not so great. Kind of disconnects the connected pawns in the middle. I think I'm going to go there. Uh, yeah, weird move. Weird move there. Yeah. Hmm. I do have a free pawn here. Hmm. I have a free pawn here, and then I have a potential... Fork. Mm. My knight's going on a little bit of a side quest if I go here. Mm. Okay. Okay, so I'm at least winning a rook. Mm. I'm glad that he pushed this pawn up. Um, there's a potential for me to move my queen to the G file here. Um, and then his pawns are going to be in a really awkward spot. He'll be forced to move his queen and then my knight is actually still safe. Um, and then I can snag this pawn too, and then I can just recapture with the rook on A3. Yeah, I don't think his pawn push was the greatest idea there. Mm, I don't think his pawn had enough backup for that move um he's it seemed like he tried to push the center with let's call it three undeveloped pieces so i don't i don't think that's going to work out so well i do need to be mindful of time though he's got three minutes up on me mm -hmm. mm, i guess my pawn's not safe after all mm. Uh, I do have a check. Mm, doesn't gain anything though. Mm. Mm. I wonder if I just go for the free pawn. Mm. I don't know. The rook's too hard to pass up. And then this pawn is kind of free. Would be kind of interesting to push the pawn up if he takes, I believe that's just mate. Uh, oh, that's kind of a mistake. That's a free pawn. Oh, he actually went for it. Oh, he should have taken it with the queen there. I believe that's just GG. Yeah, nice. GG. Yeah, so he got a little bit excited there with the pawn capture. Opened up the file for the queen. Um, I made a blunder two moves back. Um, I didn't account for queen takes on e4. Um, decent game, though. Zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero misses. Let's see what game review Stockfish Engine has to say. 91. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Let's start the review. He had one blunder. I thought he had two blunders. Personally. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, book move, book move, book move. 
I'd like to take this time and just thank everyone who's left comments about the moves to do for black when the opponent is playing a potential fried liver. It's basically been seared into my brain that if the opponent goes knight g5 uh, and the light square diagonal is open here, you can just castle after knight g5. Um, and then you can safely move your... Uh, well, before that, you can safely move your knight to f6. Um, I was always a little bit worried about these two moves here. But uh, yes, so castling is the play. Um, he had one bad, really bad move with his bishop. Interesting. So pinning his knight. Hmm. Engine wants to pin his knight. Mm, yeah. Obviously, I would just have to do the fallback dance with the bishop there. But um, not a horrible move. Hmm. Oops, I don't like when I do that. Bear with me. I wish there was some way to disable that. When you push down and it just drops it back to the to the very last move. Yeah. Hmm. A good choice to move your threatened knight. You know, I thought it was a decent choice to... It sort of defended this square. Uh, I wasn't consciously thinking about defending f7 when I made this move, but it kind of worked out for the best. Um, normally, when I've traded knights in the center, I've always just had bad luck with follow-up moves. So that's the reason why I didn't want to move the knight to the center there, even though it was protected twice. Um, I don't know, I've always just had bad luck with those types of plays. And this, yeah, this was a little bit confusing to me. I mean, I think obviously he made this move on accident. But I think he just failed to notice that the knight on d8 was protecting f7. So I, I was a little bit shocked to see that he went to f7 here. Yeah, and this is kind of where it fell apart for him. This allows the capture of a bishop to win material. There was only one good move here, and white did not spend enough time to try to find it. Greed. So the best move we could have made there. Yep, so it was kind of all downhill from here. In all honesty, I think at this point in the game, I just had to not throw away the lead and just not make any mistakes, which is kind of what I was playing for. Um, and I think I did okay. I kind of burned too much time doing that. But... So a5. a5 instead. Now... Yeah. a5. You attack a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. Yeah, I, I just don't think I had the best follow-up move after this. Hmm. Yeah, I was failing to recognize that all three of these squares... Well, these two squares were attacked. The runaway squares for the, for the dark square bishop. I think maybe in retrospect I could have pushed like a6. And then just you know, traded pawns and at least have an escape uh, for the bishop. Maybe that would have been some kind of idea. Just a thought. There's an accuracy. You allow the pawn to kick a bishop. Yeah, right. Well, I took a lot of time on this move, and it ended up being okay. So I'm happy about that. Um, it was uh, obviously a pretty big debate between <laughs> which square to go. It was either c5, knight takes, trades off, and opens the center. But I didn't really feel like I was gaining much by doing that. Um, there was also take a pawn on f2. Yeah, he wins with the rook, but it sort of disconnects his rook, and then it um, removes one defender from his king castle here, but it, it seemed like it was just not doing a whole lot for me in the long run. Um, so, and then, yeah, I could have followed that up with, like, knight g4 or something like that, trying to attack the rook. Um, but, and then maybe, like, 
queen h5 and look for a check that way or something like that. But um, yeah, glad we settled on this move. Took a little bit too long, but what can you do? And then I think this was the right idea here, was to open up the file for the rook. This attacks black pawn chain. Yep. This move wins a rook. Yeah, it was really tempting to take the pawn here on d4, but just noticing the potential for the fork here, um, two moves afterwards sort of paid off. I think if I could just critique the opponent's play, I'm not trying to hate on Pamash, but I think he was pushing his pawns a little bit too much and he was not developing his pieces enough. Um, that's probably my only critique. Let's delete the arrows. This move wins a rook. Oh, looks like engine agrees. The knight is kicked by a pawn and must now, now move or be captured. Yeah. Nice fork. You'll be winning material. Thanks, engine. <laughs> I thought it was a nice fork too. <laughs> yeah, so queen takes was the play there. E4 wasn't attacked by any of my pieces. So, and then my queen wouldn't have had the opportunity here since the pawn was defending f3, and then it was just mate. So, yeah, good game, Thmosh. That was a fun one. Um, I think this is kind of just an example of what it looks like when you don't develop your pieces. So, um, yeah, really, I was just trying to play for accuracy here and not throw the advantage away, and um, pretty happy I found that goal. I think it took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Uh, I spent four more minutes than the opponent, but... Either way, it was a good game. Thanks to Mosh, and uh, see you guys in the next one.